Hello from the Bureau of Meteorology where forecasters are closely watching two tropical lows, one over the Kimberley and one out further west in the Indian Ocean. Let's start by taking a look at the one over the Kimberley where overnight the tropical low centre has moved ashore but we've seen squally showers and thunderstorms and heavy rainfall impact parts of the western top end and the northern Kimberley. In the 24 hours to 9am we've seen rainfall totals in some places of over 100 millimetres. Now the second tropical low that we're watching is this one out further to the western Indian Ocean where we've seen thunderstorm activity significantly increase overnight. This is the one that we expect to develop into a category one tropical cyclone at some point later today. But at the moment, the immediate risk of severe weather remains with this tropical low over the Kimberley, where we have a severe weather warning for damaging wind gusts up to 90 kilometres an hour, and also heavy rainfall that may lead to flash flooding. Over the coming days, we're likely to see rainfall each day of over 100 millimetres per day continue. So we have flood warnings current for the North and Kimberley catchments and also the Ord River catchment as well. At the same time, we'll be watching this tropical low for cyclone development today out in the Indian Ocean. Initially expected to reach Category 1 intensity, over the coming days we expect the system to take a turn to the southeast towards the coast and possibly reach Category 2 intensity. So that's wind gusts of 125 to 164 kilometres an hour. This black line together with the grey shaded area indicate uncertainty in the path of the cyclone and also the speed of its movement. So at this stage it's a little, a little early to tell when exactly it will cross the coast but it could happen any time between around Saturday and Monday at this stage. So in summary we have severe weather warnings current for the top end and Kimberley and flood warnings current for the North Kimberley catchments and the Ord River as well. And we are watching out for the possibility of tropical cyclone development later today. So now's the time if you live in Northwest Australia to be aware of your cyclone plan and take note of all the latest cyclone warnings and forecasts from the Bureau's cyclone page and also the Bomb Weather app. You can also get the latest updates on Twitter.